Hello there, Swahili Nation family. Welcome back. I am Ongil Zalalem and this is Recap. Nigeria. Shale has agreed to pay $16 million to four Nigerian farmers and their communities to compensate for damage allegedly caused by pollution coming from leaks in its oil pipelines. The sum was agreed in negotiations between the oil company and campaign group Friends of the Earth. We're happy for the farmers and this is definitely a win but Shell is saying that even though they're paying the 16 million dollars to this Nigerian farmers they are not the ones responsible for what happened um, even though it's hard to believe that not just that the Dutch courts ruled that it was the company's fault but they don't want to admit it. At the end of the day, the farmers have $16 million now and they can hopefully now fix their environment because of the oil leakage that happened between 2004 and 2007. Uganda. An American couple living in Uganda accused of torturing their 10-year-old foster child could face the death penalty if convicted of their latest charge, prosecutors said. Nicholas Spencer and Mackenzie Mathias Spencer both 32 years of age, were arrested and charged earlier this month with aggravated torture, which carries a life sentence if convicted. This is really unfortunate and, you know, our governments need to do more in protecting the vulnerable, especially these children that get adopted by people, foreigners, that we don't know their backgrounds, what their intentions are by adopting that child. So it's definitely something that our governments need to take seriously and we will update you once they get their sentence. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe has imposed a ban on the export of unprocessed lithium according to a government notice. The Southern Africa country holds some of the world's largest reserves of the hard rock lithium, a vital mineral in the production of clean energy technologies. Well done to Zimbabwe. They are right to ban the raw materials from being taken and being sold because a lot of money is being lost by doing that and it's not just Zimbabwe a lot of African most African countries miss out on money because we just sell the raw materials instead of processing it and getting more money out of it so we just want to say congratulations to Zimbabwe because in the future this is going to bring revenue for the people Uganda a two-year-old boy has survived being attacked by a hippo near his home in southwestern Uganda. Iga Pol was playing near the shores of Lake Edward when the hippo struck. Even though the hippo attacked the toddler and tried to swallow him, thankfully he survived that because people came and helped and, you know, uh, kicked the hippo away. So we're grateful that this baby lives to see another day. Anyway, Swahili Nation family, thank you for watching. This was Recap. Let us know down below what your thoughts are about the stories we've discussed. We'll see you next week. Bye.